Hello everybody at Holy Trinity School. Father Paul here with our collective worship for this week. Now, the camera is going to take you somewhere and you might wonder, have we gone into a time machine and have we turned the clock back to what happened 40 days ago? See what you think. No, Father Paul hasn't gone mad. I don't think it's Christmas, but it's exactly 40 days since we celebrated Christmas. And 40 days after we've celebrated Christmas, we celebrate Candlemas, the feast of the presentation of Christ in the temple when he was just a little boy. But the crib in the church here at Holy Trinity is still here and it only goes away tomorrow. And then Christmas is finished for this year. But everything else is gone, the tree is gone and all the other decorations, but the nativity scene, Jesus in the manger, and you can see the shepherds and you can see the kings, but you can also see lots of candles because that's why we call this special festival we celebrate this week Candle Mass. Forty days ago, we celebrated the joyful festival of the birth of Jesus. But today, we recall that very special day when Jesus was presented in the temple to fulfill the law that Moses had given. But also, at the same time, to meet his faithful people. Led by the Holy Spirit, an old man called Simeon and an old woman called Anna, they came to the temple that very day when Mary and Joseph presented Jesus in the temple to ask God's blessing on him. And suddenly, when they looked at that little child, they recognized he was the Messiah. He was the one that they'd been waiting all their lives for. So, this is an incredible story. Let me read to you a little bit of the story. When the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. And they offered there a sacrifice. The law required that they offer either a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. But there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. He was a man who was holy and righteous before God. And he looked forward to that day when everything would be revealed that God would bring about in the world. And the Holy Spirit rested upon Simeon. And it had been revealed to this old man by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until his eyes looked on the Saviour, on the Messiah. So, guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple in Jerusalem. And then when the parents, Mary and Joseph, brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary in the law, like many people bring their babies here to be baptised, Simeon took Jesus into his arms. And he knew as soon as he looked at Jesus that this was the Messiah. This is the one that everybody had been waiting for. And he couldn't help himself. He was so moved that he said, Now, Lord, you can let your servant go. I can depart in peace. My eyes have seen the salvation that you've prepared in the sight of every people. A light to lighten the Gentiles. Which is why on Candlemas Day, we all have a lighted candle. The light of Christ to lighten the whole world, even in these dark days of February. When, of course, all this happened and Simeon held the baby Jesus, he also looked at Mary, the mother of Jesus, and he said, This child, your baby, is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel. But one day, Mary, a sword will pierce your own soul and it'll break your heart. And, of course, Simeon was talking about that day when Jesus would hang on the cross for the salvation of the world. 
But also that day in the temple, there was an old woman called Anna. And she was a bit of a prophet, really. She would speak the truth about God. And she'd been married when she was young. And her husband died just a few years after they were married. And she'd lived now for a long time without any husband. But she spent her time always around the temple, praying, waiting for God. And she too, when she saw Jesus, just knew in her deep down heart that the baby was special. Very, very special, important. And so she began also to praise God for this child. And so when Mary and Joseph had finished everything that the law asked them, they went home to Galilee, to the town where they would bring Jesus up, the place called Nazareth. And Jesus, we're told by St. Luke, grew strong. He was filled with wisdom and with favor from God. So that's why we keep the crib, the nativity field, right up to this point in February. And on Sunday, we carried our candles around church as we sang our great hymns. We thought about the light of Christ, Jesus who is the light of the world. I'm going to pray now a prayer for you to think all about the light of Christ. Just focus on this candle. When there is darkness in the world, Lord, we ask that you bring the light of Jesus. May there be no dark places, but only your light. May your light fill even the darkest places of our lives and that of our world. May your light illuminate the way before us so that we may see the path that you would want us to walk. We ask today that you would bless our world, our school, all our children and staff, all our parents, all our families and all our friends. And no matter how dark the days might be sometimes, may your light shine bright, for you are the Christ light. You are the one who shows us the way forward. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So as we celebrate Candlemas with our lights burning, I say to you all in school, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his light to shine upon you this day, this week, and always. Amen. I hope to see you in school next week, God willing.